Hi, it's Anthony. I've been making this basic chair lately and I wanted to um, share with you a couple of points that I discovered along the way. This is what we're going after today. I start off with a basic pre-lit scene with a composited background and then I just hide that so it's out of my way. I started out with a cube and then I made it a 40 by 2 by 40. Go ahead and make this cube editable, which is uh, also C on the keyboard. Go to your top view and zoom in. Make sure you're on point mode. Access your knife tool. Make sure it's in loop mode. And make a slice right here. Make another slice about four spots down. And then one up from the bottom. And then four up from that. And just do that all the way around. These are going to be the legs. One, two, three, four, okay. All right, now let's flip spin up so you can see the bottom pretty good. Take the live selection tool, polygon selection mode. Make sure select only visible elements is checked and select each of the four squares. Access the extrude inner, start your extrude and then just come over to the offset and put it to 0.2. Go to extrude, extrude those out and then just set the offset to 40. Spin up here so we can see the bottom of each of those legs. Get your rectangle selection tool. Select the bottom. Grab your scale tool and scale that in. That's looking good at 2.5. So we're just going to punch in 2.5 into the size and press apply. We're going to do that to all four legs. And you can just 2.5 tab tab and press return for apply. 2.5, tab, tab, return, 2.5, tab, tab, and apply. Let's spin up to the top and grab these two squares. Access your extrude inner tool. And the point two is already set, so just go for new transform. Access your extrude tool. And let's extrude that out 50 centimeters and press new transform. Let's move down so we can see the uh, tops there. We're going to squeeze those tops together. So T on the keyboard is your transform scale tool. And just push that in. And we're going to want to just say that's 2 centimeters. And then press apply. Access your construction view. Zoom in. And then make sure only select visible elements is unchecked and grab the top points of this uh, upright and then just pull it over two grid spaces pull the grab the other one and slide it over two grid spaces as well let's go back and see what we got great grab your live selection tool and then the polygon selection mode grab all these sides up here and access your bevel tool and just pull that out a little bit and we're just going to punch in 0.1 and 0.1 and then we'll go down and do the same thing to the legs grab all the sides of all those legs and then you go back to bevel and it's already set so just do new transform oops undo that okay let's do the same thing to the face so grab the face go to loop selection mode select all the way around Let's go to bevel, put in 0.1 and 0.1, and then click new transform. All right, so it looks pretty. That's looking pretty good. Let's name that seat. So what we'll want to do now is create the cross braces. So let's make a cube, and we'll just make it two by two by two right now. Pull that up so we can see it in our projection viewports. Uh, let's adjust the size, make it six tall, make it as wide as the legs, pull it up into place. Put this first one as the back. Let's duplicate that cube. Pull that one forward. Let's duplicate both of those. Rotate those around. Select all of these and let's put a fillet on them, like 0.2 and th with three subdivisions. And let's duplicate all four of those and pull those down. Adjust the 
dimensions a little bit, make those a little thinner, and then pull those front two, well, these front two down. Let's make a copy of this first cube and pull it up. And let's get where we can see and then pull it out and up. Uh, be sure to use the axis. Let's zoom in so we can see better. Duplicate that and pull it down. And then we just want to kind of eyeball an equidistant dimension. So just kind of see where that one is. That's the line there. So pull it down. And then make another one, pull it down, and then group those. Let's quickly adjust this seat. So get your rectangle selection tool. Make sure that select only visible is unchecked. Select those points on top and push the back of the seat back until it looks about right. And then roll those top points over so that the wood is square. Let's go back to these guys, roll these so they're parallel to the back, and just slide that in there so they, they kind of fit in there. I'm going to go ahead and make them just a little bit thinner so they fit comfortably in there. All right, let's have a look. Um, we want to widen these boards a little bit so they fit inside the backing. And... Let's go ahead and add some segments to the back so we can bend it. Uh, I guess 20 should work. And let's come out so we can see what we're doing here. All right, I think everything's okay. Let's make these cubes editable. All right, let's square this up a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Let's get your live selection tool, go into polygon mode. Make sure only selected visible elements is unchecked and select everything straight up the middle. Go to options, soft selection, and then go to the soft selection attributes. Make this 40, um, make it 30. Get where you can see and push that out just a little bit. Don't worry that it's coming out of the chair. We'll fix that. Go back to uh, go back to options. Go back to normal mode. Deselect everything, and let's slide these back into the uh, chair. Uh, get in here. Make sure it's looking good and it's not sticking out anywhere. All right, good. Let's do the same thing to the seat. So let's come in so we can see. Make sure only select visible elements is checked. Select these middle elements. Let's just roll up a little bit. Make sure we get a couple from the underneath. Let's subdivide this once, twice. So now we've got some segments. Let's go to soft selection again. And then just push down the middle of the seat so it just looks a little bit uh, more comfortable. Let's deselect that. Just select the very front parts and then let's push that also down just a little bit so that looks com more comfortable. Let's group this all together now and call it chair and let's uh, put it on the f actual floor so we can get a shot of this. So make sure it's right there on the floor Okay, let's have a look. Okay, you see this darkness here? That's the Fong shader. So let's access the seat and the Fong and let's pull this down until that goes away. Okay, I think that's looking a lot better. Let's close that back up. Let's throw material on there and see uh, how it's looking. Let's grab a free wood from Motion Squared, throw it on the chair. As you can see, the UVW mapping is not working because of the extrude, so let's switch that over to Cubic. And the Cubic's a little bit washed out, so let's adjust this. Bringing the wood grain back, and let's adjust that 
by going to the material, throwing it on a layer, transforming it a little bit, and then adding a color channel underneath it so we can get rid of some of this grain. Make your pick a color right off the chair so it's a base color and then just lighten up the um, bitmap so that the grain is not so intense and let's have a look now. Alright that's your basic chair. Let's adjust the lighting a little bit. Let's go back to our set and take this key light and pull it in. Pull it down some. Let's adjust the shadow. Let's come out and see what we got. Let's add a little bit of ambient occlusion. Render this out and see how it's going to look. I think that's going to be okay. So I hope that helps. And uh, thanks very much for watching.